Data science can be found everywhere, shaking up almost every aspect of our daily lives. But most people really hadn't heard of it until about 10 years ago. It's one of the fastest growing fields today, so there's a ton of opportunities for everyone to be involved. Anyways, what is data science? In a nutshell, data science combines data collection from sources like social media and satellite images, faster and cheaper computer systems, foundational math and statistics, and data visualization. Together, these things give us helpful information for making decisions and tools to make our world a better place. Now, imagine you're relaxing at home and you've just finished re-watching the series finale of your favorite show. Whatever will you watch now that it's over? The fact that your streaming service keeps suggesting teen dramas isn't a coincidence. As you can probably imagine, data science can be used to solve other bigger real-world problems. It's a field that requires constant collaboration amongst people with a variety of backgrounds and expertise. Diversity and teamwork are essential, particularly when data is used to help tackle big challenges like healthcare or food or energy supplies. Having a broad set of perspectives helps us avoid bias and other unintended consequences. For example, if a hospital doctor wanted to understand the condition of a patient and the associated risks better, they could analyze data from other patients with related symptoms. In collaboration with medical experts and software engineers, a data scientist can write the algorithms and software to make this analysis fast and more accurate for very large databases, thus improving diagnoses and treatments. So what does this have to do with you? Well, no matter what passions you develop, chances are that you'll be working with data, since it's nearly everywhere and in almost every field. We'll let the data scientists themselves show you a typical day in their life at work. Growing up, I always thought that I would work at a big company as a computer engineer, as a software engineer. But after graduating from college, I realized I could use my technical skills, my data analysis skills to really serve my country and to serve the community around me. I've gotten to work at a lot of cool places as a result, including at the FBI and at the White House. I lead a team of data scientists and user researchers to better inform how we make the product much more fun and connections much more meaningful for users throughout Spotify for both music and podcast. I am a research software engineer building machine learning solutions for wildlife conservation. So basically helping wildlife experts comb through these massive piles of data that they've collected on whatever kind of wildlife they study. I'm a PhD student at Stanford studying computational and mathematical engineering and my research is on using satellite images and machine learning to map our agricultural systems. Let's get this day in the life started. I am about to get on a train to go into the city in Boston from Somerville uh, and head into the office. See you there. So what does this look like, this machine learning for wildlife conservation? Researchers who are studying perhaps sharks, they might have a lot of really amazing video footage that looks like this. Sharks swimming everywhere, really exciting, a lot to look at, a lot of knowledge to gain from this type of video but a lot of the footage that they collect also looks like this. That footage is a lot more boring to have to sift through to get to the really exciting stuff. So machine learning can automate this process. We can comb through all that data with a computer program and really just allow the researchers to focus on these important snapshots from this video. This can save the researchers a lot of time and it can allow them to get to the parts of their work that will lead to action and protecting more animals. Welcome to where all the magic happens, my office. You see my standing desk and a phone because I spend a lot of time talking on the phone. I also wanna show you my bookshelf back here. You'll see a little statue that's from Ghana where my parents are from. It's really important to me to have things in my office that remind me of who I am in all of its glory. And so that just keeps me connected to my family. Doing research is basically thinking really hard about a problem that no one solved before. So you spend a lot of time trying things that don't work until something finally does work. So a lot of my days look like this. Just kidding. That is how people code in Hollywood, not in real life. My schedule depends a lot on the day, but most days are a mix of working at my desk and meeting with my coworkers in the lab.
see our David Bowie representation right there. I hope you can hear me. I know it's a little bit quiet. But here's some, uh, some things that I'm working on today around learning some new visualization tools uh, using notebooks, pandas, and seaborn. Uh, trying to find some more interesting ways of showing the data that I'm working on right now. So I use Microsoft PowerPoint a lot to put my information in interesting charts and pictures to relay the findings to other people. I have to give a talk today about using data with the government and communities, really important communities. So I'm sitting in a stairwell reviewing my notes for the presentation. Partnership and collaboration, bringing together people with knowledge of the data structure and information contained within. I got to go to Bell Harbor Marina, which is down on the Seattle waterfront, and tour um, this research vessel called the RV Rachel Carson, as well as this submersive vehicle, literally a tiny submarine for five people called the Cyclops. The idea of getting to go explore underwater and something like that is really exciting. Every year the lab also goes to conferences together, which is a great way to meet people, see what other researchers are working on, and tell everyone else about our work. And this year, all of that debugging that I showed you earlier paid off, and I got to present on my research using satellite images and crowdsourced data to map crops in India. It's been a busy day. It's time to head home now. I had a great conversation with designers thinking about how we think about metrics of the user experiences so that we can better understand how we can improve them, sort of connect with really smart thoughtful people who are thinking about our users and having to think about what kind of data and metrics we can create off of that. As you can see, um, one of the more stressful things about being a PhD student is that you can take your work home with you all the time. But I think being able to create maps like this, which is showing where people are growing their crops in India, and no one's ever done that before, makes all of it worthwhile. Data science skills are going to impact your work in amazing ways because you can make data work for you. Data science is going to continue to grow and impact the world around us. Whether it's improving hospital outcomes, conducting wildlife conservation or food security research, analyzing poll results, or generating personalized music recommendations, data science is all around you. It is key to understanding the present and creating our future.